And then going back to Buckminster Fuller, the Berlin Free University, that idea of a skin that can modify the environment. Here you see the lightness of the uh, library environment with the study corrals. And the skin uh, that modifies both in terms of the direction of the wind um, as, a, as a true uh, bucky concept in a way, uh, taking the air through, taking the heat out where it captures at the top and out and then using uh, cooling from below and up through these uh, cooling uh, ducts out into the floor zones with chilled ceilings again once more. Um, and there you see a quick diagram of how that skin can modify as a double element here to here, and yet it's also incredibly light with the um, PTFE ceiling system. And again, some 65% uh, reduction in master planning terms as well, this is just really to show some of the techniques that we're using currently. Um, not a skyscraper, but I think they're all um, relevant. Um, use of natural ventilation, thermal stores, gardens, photovoltaics, biofuels, uh, natural light into the building, and using modeling techniques to take the, um, to look at the surface. And we see here how the first um, smooth surface uh, that might uh, generate um, a certain amount of, uh, of energy per unit area by using photovoltaics, but in order to do that you need quite a substantial area of photovoltaics. So um, if we look at how we modeled a diagrid surface and then taking standard PV panel sizes, we were able to look at how we could modify that skin to reduce the number of PV panels keep the uh, energy uh, usage lower and yet generate more energy. And using 3D modeling techniques in a 3D printer, we can modify and study how the uh, texture can maximize the uh, incidence of sunlight on the building. And by integrating the PV elements. Um, again, the payback period, as opposed to simply having them as an add-on, uh, your payback period can be substantially reduced. 